We have microphones and lots of opinions. This is Free Therapy with the Ben Davis and Kelly K Show. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, guys. Hey, so can you walk us through uh, the situation you found yourself in that you messaged us? Yeah, so uh, just to put it simply, my mother-in-law, she isn't taking the social distancing thing seriously, and I don't know what to do about it. Okay, Okay, so what do you mean? Well, so she's 70, so she's in the high-risk age group, Mm -hmm. and she keeps just coming over unannounced. Like to your house? Yes. Oh. Yeah, and I have a two-year-old, and he has horrible asthma, and... um, Oh, gosh, yeah. Well, this is why I'm really annoyed with the situation. Uh, My mother-in-law, she has, like, a deep-sounding cough. And she just refuses to have it look get looked at, like have it looked at. When when you have a two year old who has a compromised immune system with asthma, and then yeah, I mean both of them are in a high risk group. So this is that's not good. Yeah, um, she has a key to our house, so she just comes over and walks right in. Um, and normally it would be a big deal because um, she does it a lot, and I'm, you know we're just kind of used to it. But mm-hmm. um, these are different times that we are in. What about are are you married? Yeah, my husband, he doesn't really, he thinks I'm overreacting. Oh. Really? Okay. Well, yeah, it's mean, his he, mom, he, so I'm sure he's going to, you side, know, side with her. defend her a little bit. Ah. He, yeah, and she's helped us out a lot financially, so um, I think he feels that we don't really have the right to deny her. Um, I just Honestly, neither of them are taking it very seriously. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that's that's scary. It's it's frustrating, and I mean, outside of just going, "Hey, look," I mean, and unless you turned it back on her and said, "We're worried for your safety," right? I, and because I, at her age, she is, you know, in a sensitive group. There, yeah. Hmm. I mean, I just I don't know how to get both of them to be more understanding of the situation and take it seriously. I just need to say like, Hey, don't come over right now. We yeah. love you, but just stay away. Right. Right. But yeah, I know, I know that can be tricky, especially if, you know, your husband's not really helping, uh, in this situation a lot. And, um, uh, and yeah, and she doesn't seem to be getting the point. Um, well, anyways, we're getting a lot of text messages. 502-571-9970. Yeah. Yeah. We, we need to get the point across to her that she For just needs both of them. She needs to stay home. She's putting herself in danger and your child. Well, Megan, thanks for yeah. reaching, thanks for allowing us to uh, uh, talk to you about this. Hopefully, you know, at least some people chiming in can help steer you in how you can approach this. Yeah. I appreciate your help, you guys. Yeah. Bruce texted in and said, would she feel the same if it were her mom? Um, it sounds like, well, yeah, it I, sounds like it. I, yeah, I maybe, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Donks was like, all due respect, she can't come over. And he can go, too. Your child comes first. It's a no-brainer, for real. He's got to have his family's back first. That little one didn't ask to be made to protect him and his mom. Yeah, so uh, text messages, uh, I feel like it's pretty obvious, but we'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, 502-571-9970. It's free therapy. Free therapy. Megan called and was like, hey, you know what? My mother-in-law just pops over unannounced. She's 70. I have a son who has asthma. He's two. And she's not taking the whole social distancing and self-quarantining thing seriously. And neither is the husband. And she's got a cough. So it's like, I think we all know, hey, you know, something's... You got to put your foot down. Yeah, I was going to say, something's got to happen. Something's got to give. Someone's got to tell this mother-in-law. And it should be... It should be her husband, but um, Laura posts on Facebook, call Andy Bashir. He will call her out at five. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's oh been, he can name check her. He's been dropping names. Yeah, he's he been has. dropping businesses. Uh-oh. So, so yeah, I was going to say, put put her under the, her on blast by the microscope by the governor. Uh-oh. Uh, Samantha was like, um, girl, change the locks. You don't need to, she does not need to be around your child. Sometimes you have to be mean to get the point across if she's not listening oh, to your wow. gentle suggestions right, right. to not come over right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Uh, Joe, what do you think? She needs to put her foot in her husband's behind 
And politely, well, she's already done gave him enough warnings for one. Now, she needs to put it to like this. I don't want to ha- nothing to happen to your mom because I love her. And I definitely don't want to happen nothing happen to her, our son because I love him. The only person right now that's not helping me out is you. Now, you got two choices. Either you tell your mom, you got one other choice. If something happens to him, I will beat you with an iron skillet and oh, wow. your head goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I was waiting for. Make, you know what? Megan just, can just hire you as her family spokesperson. She doesn't have to oh, worry about it. I, I, would ha- I would have no problem with that. I am certified for a family spokesperson. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Joe. See, that's the problem solved. <laughs> Appreciate it. Joe rides in here just, with the solution. Listen, get iron done. skillet. It'll get the point across, and then, you know, you can cook a nice casserole afterwards. <laughs>